Welcome Endearment Crew. Uh, my name's Corey. I'm with Patagonia and I'm here to do kind of a highlight reel of our fall 23 season. So spring 23 season, which is kicking off for our brand here um, as of last week. So you're going to be able to start seeing that new gear in retail stores and on our website. Um, so spring 23 and fall 23 represent our 50th anniversary as a brand. Uh, it's a really big moment for us and, and would be for any brand, but Rather than us kind of doing a victory lap and, and, and looking backwards and, and maybe doing some historical redos, uh, we just took it as a big point of inflection. Uh, we wanted to really examine what was working for us and, and what's things that we want to take with us forward to the next 50 years and then what's things that are no longer serving us in our communities. And, and that is as it pertains to product, to our sport communities, to our events, to our activism, to kind of that big picture idea that we have moving forward. Um, as it's represented here in product, which I am very biased to, uh, you're really gonna see a focus in on the highest performance that we can get with the least impact for environment and, and social impact, meaning the cleanest product with the highest performance. And I really love the intersection of those two things because I think it really represents the tip of the spear of what anybody in the outdoor industry is trying to get. Like we're all trying to go outside, have fun, recreate, do the things we love, but we want to do that with having the least harmful impact we can. And I think what this gear this season represents is, is really where we can be and where we can all go. Um, I want to start by talking about Gore-Tex, an amazing relationship with two really epic long-standing brands uh, and, and really our work with them. So this season for Fall 22, we released a, a two-layer snow kit called the Storm Shift Kit. I, it mainly was an all mountain resort based kit that we really, really loved. And it was two layer. It was built with a new EPE fabric material package from Gore-Tex, uh, which represents the cleanest way that they can build the most technical, durable product they have. Uh, and we were really happy as a first step into this new use of an EPE membrane and material package. This here, we've got representations from our climbing kit and from our snow kits that are gonna be these new three layer EPE me material membrane. And with this, you're gonna get lighter, durable fabrics, and definitely for more of that very high-end use. So we're really looking at that, that pinnacle, um, technical, user-friendly user uh, materials. I'm gonna start off with our Triolet jacket. This is really the workhorse. This is the red-headed stepchild that you can love and abuse at the same time. Um, it is a 75D nylon, it's 100% recycled. It's built with that three layer EPE material, which is PFC free membrane materials and finish and a PFC free DWR. Um, so as I mentioned, this is our workhorse. So this is gonna be uh, an elevated rainwear experience for alpine climbing, mixed climbing, ski touring, uh, anything that you need to have that abrasion resistance uh, and need to feel that kind of bulletproof armor. This is gonna be what you're gonna wanna pull out of the closet. Heading more into that alpine zone and that really light and fast mentality, this is our new super free alpine jacket. Uh, this is, uh, I don't wanna say pared down for stupidity, but is pared down for more user friendly and that alpine use. And what you can see is very simple hand warmer pockets. They're really high on the garment. So you can see how much room they have between the bottom hem. And that's for two reasons, to stay above your harness and then to stay above the hip belt on your pack where you can still have that access to what you need. Uh, Drop-in pockets will accommodate skins and also extra gloves as well when you're ice climbing. Um, it's 17 ounces. It is absolutely beautiful in the way that it moves and articulates. You can be working with tools above your head all day, have beautiful movement in your shoulders and elbows. Um, one of my favorite little added benefits they did is this storm seal gasket. So this right here inside, when it sits on top of your helmet, it creates this beautiful seal to where this brim is still knocking out that spin drift and that extra light, but you have that seal to where you're not getting those drafts inside your helmet and you're possibly not getting that spin drift and moisture inside and, and ultimately down your neck. Um, I thought that's a really beautiful detail that that team added for here. This is the also three layer EPE. You're gonna notice, so the difference is, you know, we've got uh, 17 ounces to 13 ounces in total garment weight, 75D nylon to a 40D nylon. Um, and I, I wish you could feel it here at home, but definitely like a, you can feel that difference in that material thickness and in weight. So here's the women's colorway here, here's the men's here. Um, and then we go to, to the tip top, and I, I, I mean that as a pun. <laughs> this is our new Alpine suit, which is a phenomenal Alpine piece. Clearly dedicated to 
very much what you need in the Alpine. Uh, this was tested very thoroughly in Ben Nevis in Scotland. Um, and it is a, a pinnacle Alpine piece for everything you need and nothing you don't all in one garment. Uh, two or three very unique features. We've got this spiral zip hood, and I, I don't know if you can see quite all the way around, but what this does is this allows you to tailor fit the hood to various sizes and depths of helmets. So you can have it to where it is kind of sandwiched down really tight. If you've got a higher volume helmet, maybe you're doing some ski mountaineering and that helmet's a little bit bigger. Then you can expand that hood and have that be really perfect fitted there. Um, and that also carries into down at the bottom, we made the same spiral to where it's got that movement in the back. And what this will do is this cuff will accommodate either your Alpine boots at that lower volume or your ski mountaineering and your touring boots where you've got a little bit more of a cuff to deal with. And what we wanted to do is, is really be able to create that freedom so nobody has to fight their boots and you can really tailor make that fit and that cuff. Um, that carries away. We've got our zipper that goes all the way through in the back so you can relieve yourself with your harness on. Um, also just a fun party trick for anybody who's wearing this around. Um, you can see we've also got our wonderful Alpine friendly colors. So you've got deep venting zippers up front and two way here. And when that harness comes across here, you've still got access into these deep drop in, po drop -in pockets too. Um, so really, again, tested, retested, and tested again and refined until we landed in a place that we feel like is an, an incredible tool for alpinists all around the world. Um, and just a, a really fun piece. That's so so that's Alpine. That really represents like a, a beautiful use of that new three layer EPE membrane and material package. Um, and now I want to get into some snow styles. So this is new for the season. This is our untracked jacket and bibs. Uh, we did this for men and women. This is a touring focus kit and it is a hard shell. Again, I wish you could do the scratch and sniff test at home, but you've got a really soft um, Trico backer here. And this adds just like a really lovely feel against your base layers. It moves really well against any insulation you have. And then also just feels like it's moving that moisture through that hard shell. And that's all things that are really important and staying comfortable in the skin track. And when you've got a transition and head on down, um, you've got nice pocketing here. We've got a low profile powder skirt here, oh, moves up and down, but also you don't get that tax on the weight. Yep. Um, this goes back into the 75D nylon, so this is definitely abrasion resistance, whether you're bushwhacking or uh, a little bit reckless in, in skiing past tree wells and taking branches to your arms. This will live up to any abuse. On the bib side that we made for the kit, <clears throat> you can see that this is not a full length bib to where it's going to come all the way up. But in the front, it's more of that low level bib, so higher than a pant, more elevated than the pants, so really very full protection for any powder, and uh, especially when it's accompanied with that powder skirt. But it's not so high to where when you're touring, you're just gonna be in a sweat box with that hard shell over your chest. Um, and I think that's a really nice attribute. Also, really big venting side zippers here. You've got dump in thigh pockets over here. Um, and it's just a bib that works phenomenally on the way up and, on, and down. So that's the men's kit over here for women's. You can see you've got a little different design style with this awesome zipper placard here. It's kind of the slate. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, the slate sky jacket, it kind of takes a page out of that book. And same thing with the bibs. So that wraps up the highlight reel on that new three layer Gore EPE. Um, we also did, um, and Sean's testing this at home, so you're gonna be able to see this also on the site. This is our new snow drifter kit. Um, this is our in-house version of what we wanted to do for a little bit more of a, a free ride focused touring kit. Uh, super soft, a lot of stretch in this material package. Um, three layer here, uh, really built on that kind of free riding mentality. A little bit more of a relaxed fit, a little bit more full volume, uh, but absolutely dreamy and comfortable to be in all day. The bib combo here uh, has a little bit higher in the chest, so a little bit more coverage, but also has a ton of breathability and very soft fabric materials. So if you can see this two-tone change here in the bibs, um, that's a really breathable portion of the panel and doesn't ever feel like you're gonna have that clammy feeling. So if you're touring up and you've just got your base layer and your bibs pulled up, your whole chest is still really able to breathe well through there. It's so comfortable I slept in it last night. That's, see, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. You heard it here, folks. So that's a men's kit and we've got women's kit over here as well. Um, 
And so once again, just, just giving customers the options there where if they want that untracked, they get a little bit more of that weather protection, that hard shell feel, kind of that mental, that mental safety test. And then also for the snow drifter, just really soft and super creature comfort. Um, wouldn't be a Patagonia show without a little bit of insulation. Um, these are two revamps to absolute bell of the balls for I think anybody's kit for what they should have. And this is our NanoWare hoodie and our new NanoWare light vest. Um, oh, yeah. The NanoWare jacket and hoodie, when we debuted it, and this is around 2014, 2015, um, it really showed what active insulation can do to anybody's quiver. And it, it was more than possibly what fleece could do. It was um, a little bit different than what you were seeing in the puffy jacket arena. And it, it brought this whole paradigm shift to thinking of what layering and insulation should be and how good it can be. Um, so with this new design and with this new update, we didn't want to fix what wasn't broken. And what we wanted to do is just really improve on what we knew worked and what everybody loved. Um, so we have more recycled content here in the face fabric and in the insulation. Uh, the hoodie has an additional chest pocket. So now we've got two chest pockets here. We changed the fit to a regular fit. That way you can under, you layer under it, but it's also so thin and flat laying that you can still layer over it if you need to with maybe a vest or a hard shell. Um, and it's never gonna feel like too much. This has 60 grams of our full range synthetic insulation and it's got 35 CFM. So this new version went from 40 CFM of breathability to 35. We took that down a little bit, mainly to add a little bit more warmth. And the reason it, in when you're thinking about kind of the, the whole spectrum of the NanoWare series, we've got this NanoWare hoodie at 60 grams. It's gonna be the warmest. We've got for spring 23, um, our NanoWare light hybrid hoodie which has got this amazing fleece hybridization in the back of the jacket. That's gonna be warm, but a little bit more for high output. So think of the NanoWare hoodie for your stop start activities. NanoWare light hybrid, a little bit more into the red line, a little bit more of that output. And then our newest, our NanoWare light um, vest for really that extended high output activity. So that's for your very rough ski tours, your ski mo, um, your winter trail runs, anything like that where you're gonna be really kind of hitting the red line. This has got 40 grams of insulation and 35 CFM. And due to that vest silhouette, you're gonna be able to just pump body heat into it and you're never gonna feel like you're overwhelmed, but you still will have that nice core warmth. Um, and so I feel like whether you're kind of going with the heavyweight, the lightest weight or the midweight, you can really kind of pick the flavor of your journey and just kind of see what you need for the day or for the week. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I also love the regular fit. Um, I feel like there, there's nothing lost there and it's just super comfortable and wonderful. How does 60 grams compare to the original? So 60 grams was the original um, oh, and okay. it was almost too warm uh, where people were saying like, whoa, this is a bit because it's it's a weird feeling. You get in this thing and you're like, oh, it's so thin. It's so light. Like yeah. it can't be this warm. Once you start moving, you're like, whoa, what the okay. Second, what was the second generation? Dropped it down to 45. Okay, that makes sense. And then we did the hybridization. Yeah, both of them, they, they feel pretty different. They are, for the sure. This one was more for like Alpine climbing. 100%, right? yeah. And, and yeah. then I think everybody started to pick and choose and be like, whoa, I kind of want that. And our fish <laughs> team did a version of it uh, called the Tough Puff Jacket that was made for insulating in, in cold weather under your waders, under your jacket for steelheading. Uh -huh. And you know, that was also phenomenal because the whole fish world was like, oh, that's kind of onto something. Um, you know, climbers aren't as dumb as they look, you know, they, they find some good things. Um, I want to finish off by talking about something that's, that I don't know if customers are going to see a lot of this. This is a really special project and super near and dear to us. Um, we made this foul weather sailing kit for the Polynesian Voyaging Society. Um, we're huge fans of what the Polynesian Voyaging Society is doing and being able to do celestial navigation and find your way all over the world um, in old Polynesian canoes, literally navigating by stars is just, I can't think of anything more hardcore and more incredible. Um, we've been trying to support with gear and do whatever we can for years now. And, and uh, we know that they've likely got another big voyage coming up and we wanted to take that opportunity to possibly build them some gear. Um, so with this, you can obviously see it's very purpose built. We don't typically make things with large warning reflector signs in screaming yellow, but um, 
this is made for just the most brutal conditions you can be in. Um, obviously, when they're out in the middle of open oceans and they're getting caught in squalls and storms, they don't have anywhere to go. And we wanted to be able to build them gear that's going to be able to keep them comfortable and keep them safe uh, as long as possible. So we've got the jacket here, which this weighs more than Sean does. <laughs> and then we've got the accompanying bibs as well. Um, you can, I, I really wish that uh, you could feel the differences in the textures in the textiles here. Um, this material here is almost like our ski pants scuff guard, like oh, really yeah. made for the most big, just the most brutal um, abuse. And, and the reason is, is like, if you're sailing 3,000 miles around the world, you're not going to have time to stop into a retail store and get it fixed. Um, you're going to be able to have to have something that's going to withstand that much torture. Um, this was like a, a three-way combo between our, our fish team and kind of uh, what they did in wader design, our alpine team and what they've done in alpine shells, and our snow team in, in really trying to find the, the best materials fit and feel for this kit. Um, and as I say, you may never see this in the wild, but it was too groovy not to bring and show you guys today. Um, moving over to the fun rack and not the so serious rack, we've got really bitching updates in our cap thermal weight base layers. Um, this has been a, a tried and true for us for a long time is our warmest synthetic base layer. And as you can see in here, you've got this grid pattern where these blocks really create the insulation and the channels in between the blocks allow tons of breathability. So as this is a very warm base layer, you're still able to work really hard, put a ton of body heat into this, and those channels are really gonna breathe and, and let that body heat get out. Um, and then it, it's gonna keep you warm enough when you're stopping, maybe when you're getting a snack, maybe when you're transitioning. So it strikes a really perfect balance. Uh, the newness here that you're gonna find is a regular fit. We've got an all through kangaroo pouch here up front. So this is just gonna be that base layer that I think is gonna be way more than just your technical base layer. Mm -hmm. Throw this over a tech tee, go from a training session to the coffee spot, back out to the trailhead, whatever you need, this is gonna kinda of be a really good co-pilot for that. Um, so I'm really happy with what they did and both the men's and women's get a very silu uh, similar silhouette. Here's an update to our Capilene Air. Uh, this again, one of the most technical and innovative base layers in the industry. Uh, this is 3D knitted, so it no seams, all comes out almost literally looking like it's coming out of a printer. Uh, what that does is a few things. No seams for failures, also no seams for, chafe, uh, for chafing. Uh, it has an incredible unique texture where it's got this zigzag pattern and then it's almost got this porous membrane in between it. It almost looks like a coral reef. And what that does is, is it allows the lofty areas to keep you warm but it's so wide open that you get that breathability. And it's just this beautiful, wonderful piece that feels like a really high-end cashmere sweater, but it's made to be a base layer. Um, and still, by far, one of my all-time favorites. I love the Kevin here, it's great. Yeah, and I just think it's, uh, like I only have three pieces of adult clothing and that I feel like is one of them because it's such a nice garment. So that, that I try to keep in good yeah, shape. I got my wife one of those and she wears it like multiple times every week. 100%. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it is something that you can get away with as like such a beautiful, unique garment. Uh, we've got an update to our Cap Cool Trail shirt. Um, when we started with this, our first rendition, the whole goal was to have a very high performing tech, ter tech shirt look like your favorite cotton shirt. And the textile, the feel of this, it really does accomplish that. It feels like something you wanna wear every day and be in, but you can also just absolutely pour sweat and heat into it. It's got fast dry times and super comfortable. Um, so I think that update there is really beautiful on a new, softer, a uh, little bit lighter weight material. On the trail run side, we've got two new tights for the season. Uh, the women, uh, it's, this is the Mipo 7 8 tight. Um, we're calling this the Mipo stash tight, and that's because we've got these beautiful stash pockets here on the sides. Um, this pocketing started from a really high-end technical run short called the Endless Run Short that we've got, and our female trail run ambassadors love that pocketing so much, they kind of wanted it in everything. And so now we've got it in that 7 8 uh, length tight, and um, this material is just buttery and super popular. Um, so I think that's gonna be a killer for this winter. And then on the men, we've got our new Peak Mission tight. Um, this is a beautiful trail run tight. We, uh, took, we copied the girls and took the stash pockets here. Um, we've got a really nice lie flat waistband. And then on the inside is just this dreamy microgrid fleece. Um, 
I barely run, but I do paddle in this all the time in the winter, and these are some incredible tights um, for when it's cold and just for that all day comfort. Are those gonna be a little bit warmer than the tights that came out with a couple years ago? So yeah, we've got endless run tight and then that peak mission, and that peak mission is gonna be warmer because nice. of that liner. And nice. it's also, I don't, it's just super dreamy. It's real comfortable to be in. A step up from that would be our windshield pants, but as a true tight, I think these are, these are just going to be the I bees knees. I am wearing the endless run pants a lot. Like, I mean, most runs between like November and yeah. April, yeah. I guess, but something a little warmer would be. Yeah. I think better. that peak mission yeah. you're going to notice just enough, but it also won't be overkill. Nice. Yeah. Uh, on the mountain bike side, we can't forget our very fun-minded mountain bike friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, we did two new jerseys for the seasons. We did a three-quarter length merino jersey here. You can see this is definitely built on bike, how that really long drop hem in the back. Now that's purpose built to where when you're over the handlebars and you're up and off the saddle, you're pulling that shirt so high up that when you have that long drop hem, you still have coverage on your lower back. Also, everybody riding with a waist pack or a backpack it's not gonna pull up and then ever get loose and free. So that drop hem really comes into play um, when you've got rowdy downhills and when you're up and out of that saddle. That three quarter length sleeve, um, I didn't know if I was gonna love it or not, but I really do. Anytime you're out wide, you're going up and down like this, extending your arms or not, it's just floating off of that forearm. And then it never feels like your elbows are getting impinged on anything like that. Um, also, it's just really nice when you're just sweating to death going uphill. So that's two new additions. And then we've got a new colorway in our Dirtcraft mountain bike pan. Um, this is just an absolutely buttery supple material. It's got enough stretch to be able to really take abuse before it rips or tears. And then you can see these laser cut perforations here on the back of the knee and then in between on the inner thighs as well. Um, so for any three season, four season riding where you still wanna get after it on the climbs, this Dirtcraft pant isn't going to feel um, like it's overkill and it's going to be super comfortable for, you know, any ride you're getting after. As I mentioned, it was our 50th. Um, we didn't totally not have fun with some throwback styles. We did want to have some fun. We did a couple of legacy pe uh, fe uh, pieces and they were mainly based off of silhouettes that we loved before that we wanted to bring back. So we've got our fleece bibs here, which obviously we had no fun at all with these, uh, which are absolutely as comfortable and dreamy as they look and super fun to wear. We've got our legacy logo here. And then we did um, this jacket, which is called the cotton down jacket. Uh, this is based off the silhouette of a high loft down sweater, but we did it with all cotton materials. And so it's got that beautiful high loft on the inside, super soft flannel cotton in here and just a super comfortable feel. Uh, these are both unisex items and we're gonna have those around for the season. We also did some amazing natural fleece blends that are just so beautiful and so comfortable with some really cool fits and sizes. Um, an all new for us, we've never done a waxed piece and this is the uh, waxed cotton canvas jacket. This is an absolutely beautiful lifetime piece and I mean a lifetime piece in the sense that it's going to patina and change over time. So similar to owning uh, your grandma's cast iron pan, this is gonna be a piece that's really gonna age and grow and change with you. Um, so we've got our 100% natural cotton here, and then we've got a PFC paraben-free wax that we put on top, and that creates the waterproof and the weather resistance here. You can so, the, the... Yeah, so absolutely. So we worked with a really beautiful partner here to find the best wax we could, and you're gonna be able to buy this garment and then get the tin of wax. Sweet. And so if you're finding that you have, maybe you wear a messenger bag, or you wear a backpack and your straps are getting through that wax, you're gonna be able to reapply that and make sure that the garment is still totally weatherproof um, and, and, and as bomber as you want. And if you want some wet spots, some dry spots, if you just wanna be a lazy person, you can do that too. Um, but the beautiful part about this fabric is it, it really is going to kind of age and patina and it's gonna be a piece that, uh, you know, you're gonna to have to have a relationship with and you're gonna to have to take care of and, and be invested in, and I really love that about it. So I really, hats off to the Life Outdoors team for kind of always tinkering and, and really looking for things of, how do we do weatherproof naturals? How do we just, you know, not do synthetics when we're looking for that? And I think that's gonna be a really groovy piece. Um, last, 100%, certainly not least, is updates to our black hole packs and our black hole totes. Um, 
So our black hole line is some of the most loved, but definitely the most abused products that we make. And the reason behind it is, is, is everybody just has so much faith in durability in this material package. So the biggest differences that folks that are paying attention at home are gonna notice is that it no longer has that very noticeable black hole sheen, that shine. So this has got a matte, a matte fabric. That's due to a, a recycled TPU laminate that we're using. Um, and where we're getting this recycled TPU from is from the cutting room floor when these bags are being created and almost when so many different products are being created, there's TPU that is being discarded and wasted. And our product line team for our equipment, they, didn't, they just wanted to find out, well, how can we first divert this waste and then how can we put it to use and, and where and how can this be applied? We found out that we can get this recycled TPU melt it down and be able to use it as a laminate in, in new products. And what it does is save a huge amount of waste, but also adds this laminate that makes this material just as, if not more durable and water resistant than any black hole fabric we've used in the past. So as that aesthetic changes, that performance remains the same, if not is, if not is a little bit more elevated. And then also that waste stream of that TPU gets completely used into these, into these garments. So it's like a phenomenal two birds, one stone story. Um, and I'm really happy to see it in our packs now. This is the Black Hole 25 liter bag. We did a few design updates to it. So this zipper here for the main entrance got a little bit bigger. And we did that so you can have easier access and larger access into that main compartment. Oh, yeah. So it really splits open to where you can get to laptop, your tablet, your interior pockets, whatever you need. We also added additional volume here in this top pocket. So now it fits more than half of a Snickers bar. And then on the back, you can see this through hole or this through loop carry handle. And that's purpose built to fit on top of our roller bags or our rolling black hole duffels. So you can put this through that handle of your rolling bag and then you can be hands free to either um, chase your child or drink your coffee or drink your coffee to then chase your child in the airport. Um, all which was part of our field testing for this product. And you'll see these changes reflected in the 25 liter pack and also our 32 liter black hole pack. Um, one thing that I use more frequently than almost anything else is our black hole gear tote. And that gets that same material update as well. Um, obviously, everybody needs a gear tote. Dog washing station, baby washing station, um, anything and everything. Uh, can fit into there and that durability and just that feel of that matte new, that new TPU laminate is just really groovy. And I'm so happy to see something that we make so much of have a reduced impact with this new material use. That's cool. That's awesome. So there's a little bit more that I couldn't fit in the duffel bags to bring today, but I feel like this really covers some of the seasonal highlights. Uh, I'm really looking forward to fall 23. I feel like there's definitely, if not one, several things in there for everybody at home, regardless of what they do. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking to 50 more years of goodness. So good, Corey. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries, guys.